Remember all the way back to the two years leading up to Star Wars The Last Jedi and after the release of The Force Awakens, where just about every other day we had at least a new theory to discuss on who exactly Snoke was, what his his identity, and all the confirmed scoops, details, and leaks that he was in fact going to be Darth Plagueis. When it came to The Last Jedi, Snoke ended up being, well, well he ended up just dying. After revealing nothing. And as it turns out, Ryan Johnson did not care at all about who Snoke was. So that's why that happened. I know that right now, everywhere you look, Star Wars channels are all about let's retroactively hate on everything Disney. But they seem to forget that at the same time, leading up into The Last Jedi, they were the same channels literally every day dissecting every possible theory on who Snoke was. All the hype going into the sequel was this big revelation that everybody built up in their mind of how Snoke was going to be Darth Plagueis or reincarnated Revan or ancient Sith powered by the crystals on Crate and oh my god, it was everywhere. Mace Windu, I mean, or, you name it, it was probably a... So in an interview with USA Today, with one of the authors of uh, well, multiple books really, but also somebody that's worked on Star Wars, she talked about the approach to The Last Jedi, and specifically Ryan Johnson's approach to The Last Jedi. And when it came to, you know, novelizing in what details were allowed to go out there and what they were planning, as you would uh, figure, everybody thought, hey, after uh, The Force Awakens, Snoke's got to be big. No. She asked Ryan Johnson about what the outline was, what the direction was, and what's the big, uh, you know, whole revelation on Snoke going to be. Who is he? And Soraya Wilson, the writer, said he didn't care. He just had no idea. He didn't care about the identity. It wasn't something that was interesting to him. Um, he didn't want to go into exploring this character that really wasn't the driving force of this story. Now, this quite clearly goes against um, what was done in the sequel and what the prequel was implying, but at the same time, you know, uh, we know that they approached those Star Wars movies very differently with three uh, different attempts with original directors and writers and all that, and ultimately J.J. Abrams came back and retconned Snoke, which... If you really do pay attention during The Last Jedi, you can tell that he gives off a lot of uh, Palpatine's mannerisms. So who knows if that was intentional or not, or maybe Disney mandated it in there or something. I guess we'll never really know because the trilogy's behind us now. But yeah, Ryan Johnson didn't care, which honestly, I, I think most people don't really care who Snoke was other than floating head in jars. Yeah, that happened.